what's up? It's the Lemon King back here on the Channel Spotlight and Review Series, episode number seven. And we are back, and today on the Channel Spotlight Series, it is F uh, FVD Gaming. And FVD, FVD Gaming, FVD Gaming, he has been on YouTube almost er, around a year now. Um, he mainly does gaming videos, a lot of Minecraft, and he's been thinking to do some horror games once he gets his face cam. He uploads less than two times a week and his in-game names and Skype name will be down in the description below if you want to add him on Stabadoodle. He has done channel art for others using Photoshop, so if you want to get some channel art, ask him for some. And he likes bananas, so case closed. Bananas done. There you go. So, welcome back to the channel called Interview Series, and how we always kick this off is by starting up here in the uh, banner and the logo. And the logo is well done, has like a Minecraft background with blue tinted and has the name on it. Pretty straightforward and it gets the name across. Um, another thing that you do want to watch, and this is an interesting one, the color scheme you use on your logo. Basically this color scheme, color scheme if you look at it, it's blue and white. Sometimes when people see like a blue background it makes them feel like different compared to red and different compared to yellow. So that's why you want to use more contrasting backgrounds. Um, it depends what kind of person you are. If you like the color blue then normally that's going to happen like I do myself. So I don't take a mind to it. But people who, some people have different reactions to different color backgrounds. So you need to really try to get some different color into it. But that's a strange thing. It is true, but it's kind of way out there. But you heard it here first. And the channel banner looks pretty pretty good, and it has the clear name, really easy to read lightning. So let's check out the channel intro. Hey guys, FVD Gaming here, and I am back with another video. Share this with your friends. Alright, so good intro. First, we have to point I use that intro myself on some videos. So it's a good intro, and then it feeds right into the gameplay. Um, good, clear voice, easy to hear. And yeah, so it looks pretty darn good. And a nice warning here, has strong lyrics, and then nice spacing in between. And you also have your links in here, which is really good. The only other thing I would add into here is the music you use, and give credit to the music because unless you made that music yourself, and even if you made the music yourself, you should probably stay down below. This song made by me, and here's the link just to get it out there. But if you didn't, if this isn't your music, what you want to do is in your description, uh, song name, album, and author, and even if you want, you can put a link into it where you got it from. So that's important, just so you don't get copyright infringements because it can happen at some points. Very good thing here. So over on the right side of the screen you have your friends which so people can go over to their channels and check out their content as well and vice versa so hopefully they have you on there and it'll all connect together. And the popular YouTube, yep. Yep, those guys. So let's take a look here at the videos. And looks like right here, it looks pretty good because you want most of them to have uh, channel thumbnails. Thumb or video thumbnails. Video thumbnails are important, so it gives people an idea of what the video is, so I don't have to look at a random video and be like, like this one. Like, what are you gonna be talking about here? It's a little bit more challenging. Even this one, it's it's more challenging like what game are you playing if you haven't seen it before but when you look at this it's like oh he's doing pvp and there's number three and there's murder and there's witchcraft and there's super mario so it's easier to see what's coming up so we're going to take a look at the pvp monitor three <laughs> Outro, the outro looks fine. Just once again, make sure you give 
like Reddit. Wherever the music came from. Um, it's nice to have your IP link here. And it's pretty good. So I don't see any problems here. Just, uh, you could probably edit your... I mean, there's so many different things you can do with your outro and intro. It's a whole world of design you can pick from. There's also so many music directions. There's a whole bunch of things that you can go through to make your intro or outro. So, like this one right here. That one is perfect. I really like these ones, how they occur. Because it gives you a, like a last, a last video seek, a la, a la, a seeking. A last video window so you can see what the last video was. So if you didn't see that one, you can go check out that one as well. So it keeps people, and they can just click on that instead of having to go hunt for it. Say nice day, and links, and stuff like that. So they can go do stuff. That is what you want to do for your outro. That's the kind of outros I like. Mine isn't like that. I used I used to do some of those like that. And uh, sometimes I do. But it's not really necessary, but it is cool to do it like that if you can make those happen. It's really cool. So that's everything on here looks good. Clear voice. I don't see any problems with these. Uh, you might want to create more playlists. Be and once again, I'm going to say this again if you haven't seen my last videos. Playlists allow people to go onto your channel and they group up certain things. So take Hunger Games for instance. You can keep all your Hunger Games videos in its own playlist right here. So if someone comes on your channel and sees their, your Hunger Games series and like, oh, I'd be interested to see other ones of these. They can go into your playlist and click on the Hunger Games series so they can watch all your Hunger Games videos. So they don't have to search around your child channel looking for something, looking at things they don't want to watch and then searching, oh, there's Hunger Games number three, go down another page, here's number two, and by and continue. So that's why it's important to use playlists so everything is kept together. And I also like to use playlists for my Minecraft maps when I play it and do like series on them. Like the Pantheon, I had like a 40 episode series or 30 some. I like to keep that all in one folder. So if people want to watch it, it's all in the same exact place and you don't get lost. So that's why playlists are important. So I would suggest grouping up some things. Uh, feature channels, everything, your friends here are good. Um, what you do want to do is add some of your subscribers who you subscribe to in order to see oh so when someone comes here oh these these this kid watches this guy watches this guy's Minecraft so I'm assuming their content's gonna be Minecraft related and funny like that and it's gonna be based off of what he does that's what they're gonna base your channel off of and a lot of people do that it's based off oh this kid likes these people ah so I know what kind of video they're gonna make and then here about uh, Minecraft username everything looks good here I would add some more links like you can check out my channel about what I have to get like a basis off what it should look like this is good laid out it's all spread apart and everything perfect uh, I have a lot more links to my uh, partnerships to my sponsorships to my clothing line to my all kinds of different pages. That's good to keep all your links in one place so they can click on it and say, oh, maybe you want to go check out clothes. So, that is important, but your videos are the one things I really like, just outro wise, and maybe edit a little bit. But everything on here looks really good. I don't see any problems. So, the one reason you might not be getting many subscribers and viewers, but it looks like you're getting 74 views, 40 views, 10 views. Yeah, so one of the reasons you might not be getting as many, I see some of these do get up, is if you share them. So what do you mean by that? Well, you can go into your two like that, and you can click the share button. It allows you to share it to all these different places. So you can share it to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, you can share it to Blogger, Reddit, Tumblr, Pinterest, um, Dig. LinkedIn, all different kinds of stuff, so that people can see it. Like mine automatically sends off to Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. Then I can go in here and add it to some other websites. So when people are browsing these websites and they see yours, that's can attract more viewers. So yeah, most of my viewers come from the YouTube databases, which they search Minecraft and it'll pop up, and that's where they get it. 
but some do come from outside website links so that's it's all tracked within your analytics you can see where most of your traffic is coming from and it's good to look at so you see what you need more improvement on so oh I'm not getting a lot of people from the outside sources I want to share it more and get on different places like I have like so many different places I post my videos on sometimes important announcements and contests and stuff like that so it gets more people to see it rather than just your people on YouTube. So that is it for today's episode. Channel Spotlight ends as I, as I end every single one. I'm going to press that subscribe link and you should come on over here and do that and subscribe to FVD Gaming. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. Go check out his page. Comment down below if you have any advice for me. Continuing on with this series, we're on spotlight number seven of however many we people we get. And also leave some comments down below on what he th what you think he should do, and we can talk about that and give advice and always trying to help out everybody so we can all grow together. If you want to enter this series for yourself, the link will be down in the description below. It'll take you to a Google document, and you just have to fill out the document with all your correct info, and I'll put you on the list. And once it comes to your turn, I'll make the video just like this one, set it up for you, and on our way. Um, remember to go subscribe to FVZ, and I think that is it. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Go check out FVD Gaming, and I'll see all of you guys in the next episode.